You can make a living trading this one simple strategy that will take you less than a minute to learn this actual strategy. Trading is a 50-50 game. Markets can go up, they can go down. You never know which way your trade's gonna go. Trading was hard, but became so easy once I understood the strategy. I'm gonna show you a system. I spent my first few years going through all the indicators, moving averages, RSIs, MACDs, lines. We all started on line charts in the old days. You know, and I never understood that the basis of trading is actually so simple as keep it simple, stupid. Just keep it simple. That's all it is. It's all in the psychology. And once you understand that it's all about the psychology, that's when it all comes to, for, to the front and it starts, starts to wake you up and you start to pick up on it. If you're a beginner in this, or even if you're just a trader that hasn't quite got there yet, this video is definitely for you because it'll change everything. I spent years looking for new systems, new indicators, new ideas, watching videos, reading books, going and following this guy, following that guy, trying to find the magic pill, the magic pill that's going to make you money in the stock market. And if only I knew then that it was all about the psychology. Man, it's all in your head, guys. It's all up here. It's got nothing whatsoever to do with any particular system. Hey, I'm Rob. It's Rob Guilty. It's Logical Trading. And by the way, trading is risky. If you don't like losing money, don't trade. I'm going to show you my trading system. Guys, here's my trading system. I'm going to show you a really simple trading strategy. Uh -huh. Support and resistance. It's the easiest. And supply and demand. But let's take a look at the charts and let's have a look at what we've got. It's my secret trading system, my edge. Okay, let's have a look. So if you go into the chart, you can see here that we've got, okay, this is the FTSE, right? That's fine. What I'll do, I'll go to the day, right? Let's put it on a line chart. Hang on, a line chart. Yeah, there we go, line chart, there we go. Okay, let's remove that. Now, we've got a line chart. Now with a line chart, you can see the points much better. It helps to see the points. Let's have a look at what's on the charts and let's see how we trade support and resistance, supply and demand, right? So first we'll do support and resistance, then we'll do a bit of supply and demand, just, just to have a wee look, okay? So, my system's really simple, straightforward, no bullshit. Uh, what we do is we take a line chart on the daily, right? So you can see here, there's a few points here. So this is clearly a level. So let's draw that level in, okay? And we use boxes because it doesn't have to be exact. Let's be perfectly honest. So if you look at that, we've got quite a nice level on the daily, right? There we go. Now if you look at the bottom here, there's definitely a support area there. So let's draw that one in, right? Now the reason I'm only drawing these two in is because Let's be perfectly honest. If you draw a whole bunch of lines in there, it's just going to confuse you. So we want the one at the top, we want the one at the bottom. And you can see on the line chart that very much we're in the resistance level. Okay, so let's have a look at that. We'll change it back to a candle. There you go. Lovely. She's in the candles. And now you can see on the daily where you stand. Now have a look on the daily where it's going. Look, this particular one is pretty much in a range, but that's okay. We're going to look at that. That's fine. If it was in a, a trend up, same thing. You just go on the trends as you go up and you just draw the support and resistance as to where you are. Okay. So here we are. We're in a trend. And now we go back down to the four hour. If you want to trade on the one hour, fine. Same thing. You can take it down to the one hour. Now, if you look at the four hour, you can see very clearly here and very nicely that um, you've got a possible trade coming up. Right. So... With that trade possibly coming up, you can now, by all means, take this and just have a look at it, right? So if you get a red bar coming out, then you're going to go short, right? 
If you get a green bar going out, you're going to go long. Simple as that. And your stop loss is where you want to look, right? So let's just remove that. So what are you going to do about your stop loss? Well, that's pretty easy. Now, let's say we're going long. Then we're going to put our stop loss just below these lows, right? We're a little bit below these lows. And we take, take our take profit. Uh, right, let's take it right up there because, I mean, you're just going to add to your profits if she's going up, right? So that's one way of doing it. Uh, let's say you're going short. Okay, so we're going short. Let's say it comes out of there. Our, our profits target is much more clear. It's down here, down at the bottom, right? It's, it's pretty clear. Stop loss is much more clear as well, just above the last high, okay? And that's support and resistance for you. Righto. So let's remove all the drawings, right? Let's see, have we got a nice area where we oh look at that look at that we've got a demand area so if you're looking for a supply and demand area quite easy you don't have to change to the day chart the lower time frames higher time frames look at this all you've got to do is you've got to look for three nice clear uptrend bars for a demand area okay and three clear downtrend bonds for a supply area so that would have been a supply area right there so you could have drawn a supply area in there. Look at that. The confluence is amazing. It actually matches up to the demand area. So if we take the demand area and we draw it in, there's your demand. Boom. Look at that. Okay. So effectively what you've got here is if this now comes down into that area, you're going to trade log. And that's it. And you get a green bar coming out of there because that's a demand area. And if you look at it, let's remove all the drawings. And if you look at it, you can see clearly that this would have been a supply area previously. Okay. And it matches up perfectly with support. Also, with the demand area we have right now. Okay. And that's as simple as the system gets. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know anything over and above that. That's your system. That's what you're going to trade with. So now that you've seen my trading system, and now you know what, how I trade support and resistance, supply and demand, that sort of thing, that is truly all you need to trade. Do me a favor, guys. Check out my blog. 10, 15 seconds of your time. Nothing more. Visit the secret blog. Free trade on there every day, which I post totally free. Guys, it's not financial advice, just a trading idea. On the blog as well, you'll see on the left, little PDF, free Forex book, my gift to you, asking nothing for it. But enjoy the trade every day. It's always nice to know what everybody else is doing, isn't it? Now that you've seen the secret blog, might be interesting for you. You're welcome to follow those trades, but just remember I'm a 50-50 trader at best. So, I don't always win my trades. <laughs> Just so you don't forget that. You might be trading with moving averages, you might be trading with RSI, you might be trading with MACD. If you want to know about any of those, ask me, let me know, comment, I'll have a look for you. But, my system is pretty straightforward and the reason I trade that system is to manage my risk. I manage my risk and that's why I trade with those levels, those support and resistance levels. You can do it with FIBS as well, also great. The best way to trade, the best day trading strategy for you is trade in and out, day trade, just sort of, you know, buy or sell, whatever the case, right? Do what we've been doing all along. Doesn't matter which way the market's going. Just follow the rules. For me, it's just like if it's in the support, I'll trade it. If it's in the resistance, I'll trade it. End of story. It's always better if you train yourself and do your own thing. Use your own system. Stick to your system. Don't change your system every five minutes. Remember, I always say that. Don't change your system every five minutes. And trading's 50-50. It can go up or it can go down. Guys, that's me. Let's see what happens next week. That was a great week. Let's see how this week goes. This week, I think we might be looking at a little bit of a correction here and there. S&P is looking a little bit ominous here. It looks like it wants to go a little bit further down to the next support. As with the DAX, as with the FTSE, as with a couple of the others as well. So, and the, and the Forex, <clears throat> same old story. They're kind of moving around a bit. So, keep your eyes on the ball. Check my blog out. Every day I post a trade there, you can see what I'm doing. 
Like, comment, subscribe, follow, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.